What's up, y'all? My name is Alfred Etiamo, strength and conditioning coach slash personal trainer. And today, I want to show you guys five exercises that will help you to strengthen your hamstrings. But before we go ahead, I want to share a little background story. Not too long ago, I ruptured my bicep femoris, the long strain muscle and the hamstring muscle complex. And now, I am doing exercises that have been helping me in order to strengthen that muscle back. And those are the ones that I'm going to show you so that you can do it at home, at your club, wherever you are, in order to minimize the injuries and to remain strong on that posterior chain of yours. All right, ready, let's go. hamstring hold. I'm going to show you three different variations of those. The first one is having our legs in our 90 degree angle. The second one is a version where we have our legs extended and then holding it. And then the third and the last one is the one where we are moving dynamic, thrusting our hips up, holding that position, squeezing everything tight. So I'm going to talk as I'm going to do the exercises. You bring the heels on a firm and solid solid black, you drive your pelvis up, you contract your glute and you hold that position. As you're holding that position, you will feel your hamstrings working, your glute working and your lower back. Exercise number one. By the way, all exercises can also be done single leg. So what you could also do is drive one leg up, let the soles of your feet face the ceiling, thrust your hips up and hold that position. All right, next exercise. You move a little bit back, drive your heels on the ground, flex your toes, and then bring your pelvis up right here. Contract the glute, same concept. Hold that position right here. Hold it for a few seconds. You should feel your posterior chain working, especially your hamstrings, your glute, and your lower back, and then you drop. Single legged, right here, up, and hold it. Last but not least, it's a dynamic version. You come in a 90 degree angle, you thrust your hips up, tight glute, tight hamstrings, hold it for two, three seconds, coming back down, slightly touch the ground, thrust it back up, hold that position, come back down, and then you want to thrust it back up, hold that position. This can also be done single leg. So you're up right here, thrust up, come back down, Thrust up, come back down. Last one, you thrust up, and then you come back down. All right, we got the second exercise now, using the petty ball. All right, two exercises that I'm gonna show you guys with this one. Same concept, 90 degree angle, your knee hips at the same line, heels are on the ball, toes are flexed. You drive your pelvis up, you squeeze your glutes so that you stay at the high point, extend the leg, and pull it back in. You want to extend the leg and pull it back in. Extend the leg and pull it back in. You want to contract your core, squeeze your glute, and be sure to keep your pelvis thrusted up at the high position. Soles of the feet is facing the ceiling. Pelvis up, extend, keep your pelvis up, drive back in. Pelvis up, extend, Drive back in. The third exercise can be done in so many variations. So I got a barbell right here. So I'm going to show you one or two variations with the barbell. So the first one is when you have the bar, both hands grip firmly on the bar. And rotate and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Bend your knees a little bit. Arch your back slightly. Bring your body parallel ground to the floor. And then as you extend, you contract your glute and you come back up forward. This is called a deadlift. Right here, same position, make sure that your upper body is parallel to the ground, you have tight grip on the bar, you're making sure that your handshakes are firm, you're slightly bending your knees, you're coming back up and you're contracting your glute. This can be done single leg, so you're right here, make sure that you have good balance, bend your knee a little bit, right here, parallel to the ground, legs up and contract the glute. Coming back down, bend your knees a little bit, find your balance, 
parallel to the ground, come back up, extend the leg, and squeeze the glute. All right, guys, we're now starting with the fourth exercise. So this exercise is performed single leg, all right? So you grab yourself a box that you can step up on. So this exercise is more of a quad dominant exercise, but as your hamstrings are assisting with this exercise, they're also getting the right amount of work needed in order to be strengthened. One leg on the box, you lean with your upper body a little bit slightly forward, have your arms like an athlete, and then you thrust up, squeeze your glute as you come up, you come down gradually, and repeat that again. You can even try to do it slower, and you're pushing up. If you're not able to do it as slow yet, it doesn't matter. Make sure to perform the exercise at your best capability, okay? Come back up, up. Obviously, you don't want to look like that. <laughs> so you come back up, find your balance, squeeze, come back down. Exercise number five. It's called the Nordic Hamstring Curl. This is one of my favorite exercises. So you bend your knees, you make sure that you're with your upper body up, your glute, glute is squeezed, and all the emphasis is put on the hamstring, all right? If you cross your arms across your chest, extend, come back up, pull with your hamstrings, your upper body completely up, and contract your glute. Extend, up, extend, up, okay? All right, so I'm obviously not going to do the full exercise, but each and every exercise that I've shown you guys already, you guys can do 10 to 12 reps. Do each exercise two to three times. Each exercise is great for getting the strength back in your hamstrings, or, excuse me, or maintaining the strength in your hamstrings you will see improvements in flexibility, strength, and most likely be able to minimize the risk of re-injuring or injuring your hamstring in general. I know especially for football players, it is one of the least focused on muscle because football is so quad orientated. But if you wanna manage a healthy career or just be able to move throughout the day, play with your kids, go for a run, jog, and everything else, it is important that we all work all types of muscles, especially the ones that we tend to neglect. I hope these exercises are helping you guys. Feel free to send in questions in the comments. I'm going to do my best to answer all the questions. Thanks for watching. My name is Alfred Etiamo. See you next time.